Hello, I'm Aubrey Shepard on the 18th of August 2014. Let's see some photos from outdoors in Bell, Arkansas. That's a button bush. Those things grow in and around the edge of water, streams and ponds and lakes. And that one happens to grow on Pinnacle Foods Incorporated Seasonally Wet Prairie. And that one is uh, got a swallowtail butterfly on it. If John Rule were here, he probably could tell us which swallowtail this is, since I have no confidence in that. I do, however, recognize this is a monarch butterfly, and it was also at Pinnacle on this uh, button bush. And you can see in the background, that's those apartments on top of the mountain over there. This is a big blue stem grass. <coughs> and these are what's called yellow coneflowers, probably Rudbeckia family. They might be called brown-eyed or black-eyed Susan. And the grass they're growing amongst there is, was, uh, that was, uh, little blue stem grass. And of course, I'm not sure what this flowering plant is. <laughs> it, I guess it's not a milkweed, but it might be a sunflower. This is Chimeris definis. This is a bad, unclear photo, but I haven't seen very many of them lately, so I showed it to you. It's a clear wing moth. Okay, here's a monarch butterfly on ironweed. And it was nectaring there. And okay, here's Hemarius definis, the uh, clear wing wet uh, <laughs> moth. And it was a little clearer picture, thank you. And this one is another uh, type of uh, ironweed with a uh, monarch on it. And here's one. Uh, the, these plants are in different stages of bloom. And so. Some of these pictures also may be out of order, but uh, I'm sharing a lot of monarchs when I see them because I haven't seen very many till late in the year. More in August than I saw all the rest of the earlier part of the year. Okay, you saw a milkweed plant, and now you see some more of those yellow coneflowers, and you see ironweed, and you see in the background between us and those apartments there, there's a strip of uh, various things. Here's uh, the white wild indigo with a few seed pods on it and um, here's uh, another ironweed with a monarch. There were just a few monarchs here and there and uh, I don't get tired of seeing them and I hope, well I, I'll say this, I think I may be showing you more this summer than I did last summer. I think I saw fewer and fewer places. But anyway, they have to, the last generation needs a monarch uh, in the fall, it needs uh, milkweed plants growing so that their caterpillars can eat the milkweed, form a chrysalis, and then turn out before November, preferably, so they can fly south and overwinter in Mexico. And we do know that uh, the numbers have greatly decreased in the past few years. And the chances are this, this is a female and uh, it's nectaring there, but it may be going also to some of those milkweed plants that are in that area. This is, and laying eggs, this is a uh, Burbane, swamp burbane. This is a very good <coughs> green live example. And here's a tall green milkweed, prairie milkweed it's called. It's a, a uh, okay, now John would have loved seeing this, I guess. But uh, that spider has caught himself a honeybee. And you can see, I took about a pictures of those two, and the honeybee slowly disappears. 
Anyway, that was the basket flower at the end. Till next time, let's all be sure next to you. Do your part to help keep the water clean, the air pure, and the woods green. See ya. Hello, I'm Aubrey Shepard on the 18th of August 2014 with photos from Bentville, Arkansas. And this is the Passiflora lutea. It's a tiny passion flower. And you see it's yellow and see its leaves much different from the large passion flowers. And that's obviously way, way bigger than uh, reality blown up close up and this is swamp milkweed and I think on some of the pictures you'll see a beetle or two and some other insects yeah there's a interesting bug of some kind and you see that species of a lot of different flowers and I think it's catching little things to eat as opposed to getting pollen or, or like maybe pollinating in the process but it I don't think it's nectaring. I think it's uh, feeding on smaller insects. You saw a basket flower, American basket flower, and you see a monarch, and now you see a white lined sphinx moth. White lined sphinx moth, moth that's often found on prairies and open grassland of any kind, and also um, even in parks and in your, on your lawn sometimes, maybe, or in the trees. This is Wooly Croton, C-R-O-T-O-N, and that was John Rule. He was with me that day and, and, uh, on the weekend and, and uh, held that uh, flower for me there. This is a kind of uh, <coughs> poppy mallow. <coughs> Excuse me. Poppy mallow, and now here is an unusual type of for me, around here anyway, the atris that comes, see how many stems are coming up from the base there, from one main stem? Well, most of the atris are, are single stem like this, so this one's more common. If I find out, I'll try to run a, have another picture of that one if I can find it and, and I'll tell you the name of that particular species. And that's the atris, it's still green, and it's entangled with little blue stem grass. And a bunch of these photos have little blue stem grass. You don't see anything blue about them, do you? But, but you see the, the alternating sort of red and, and uh, green on their parts of their stem. And for some reason, when you talk about pictures and grass and things, you know, like Kentucky bluegrass, ever see any? Well, it really isn't exactly blue, is it? Anyhow, Monarch on Leatris. And th these were actually made uh, today with the 18th of, of August in the morning. And so this uh, is a hmm, rose pink gentian. See those balls there? That's after the flowers disappearing and that's growing seeds under there. And those are where you want to find your seeds when they get dark. This is some kind of little... Um, well, it's a halictid bee, uh, that green bee there, and it's on one of these species. It's similar to uh, dandelions. And that's a hairy wild petunia. And here's something else growing next to little blue stem. And this happens to be a milkweed plant, a tiny one, Asclepius verticillata. And here it's got seed pods already. And at least at the moment, there are no bugs on those seed pods eating away at the pods. So maybe, maybe somebody will get to plant those, or at least they'll reseed themselves and make even more of these plants. There are patches around Northwest Arkansas where you can find a good many of these tiny Asclepias, Veritas, um, uh, <laughs> oh well, Salata. Um, this is the uh, partridge pea, and here's a pretty nice shot of a, also made today, uh, 
basket flower, American basket flower, and there was a tinier one. Now here, for contrast, see the leaves of this? This is a thistle. Okay, not to be confused with the American basket flower because the, the flowers are the same color and shape in many ways. The next time, Aubrey Shepard asks you to do your part to help keep the natural world healthy and get out and enjoy it while the flowers are blooming. See.